Hello, welcome to Camaro Mods Channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Well, I didn't make a video this week, which would have been last week. This is Sunday, and I didn't, I didn't get one put out because I worked a 50-hour work week. So, on my title, it says Monetize Channel. The same week that I question mark. We'll get to that here shortly. But what else is going to happen in 2020? I mean, we just lost Eddie Van Halen this last week. On the, I believe it was on the sixth. And I got a, I got a story on that I want to tell after a while. Uh, I did go to one Van Halen concert. I'll zoom on that. It was about seventy-five dollars, seventy-five fifty. I'll zoom in. We'll we'll come back to this store here shortly. But that was that was fun doing that. But we'll go back to Monetize Channel. The same week that I question mark. That would be the same week that I put in my two week notice. I basically got kicked out of my job. What happened is uh, I work at Cobalt Boats. I mean, I don't want to go bashing them right now. I mean, I'm going to wait till I get <laughs> get my. Uh, I uh, I filed for retirement, basically retiring from the company. They basically kicked me out of the company because Cobalt was bought out by Malibu. And you know what happens when big corporations buy up companies? They got to run it the way they want to run it. So, basically anybody that knows anything or making too much money, out the door they go. So, I was, I was making pretty good money. So, I had no regrets for what I did. I could have stayed. They was going to change my hours. I was working from... 4 o'clock in the evening to 2.30 in the morning. I liked them hours. They was okay. I mean, I kind of like to got, got off at uh, 12.30 at night like I used to. We used to work eight hours a day, and then we got switched to Malibu came in, and they put us on 10-hour on days. So they was going to change my hours from 10 o'clock in the morning to 8.30 at night. With them kind of hours, you can't even go home and mow the lawn. I said, I'm not working them hours. I'm not working, not working them hours. So me and another guy, we put in for retirement. Retired from the company. So I monetized my channel the same week that I put in my two-week notice. So I appreciate each and every one of you that support my channel. I need your support even more now than ever. I mean, I've got money saved up. I mean, I'm not, it's not bothering me at all. In fact, I even had, yesterday I even had a, a job offer. Driving a truck over, at a t over close to a town that I used to work at. It's near to Shea, Kansas. But, uh... I said, I hadn't even hardly been off 24 hours. I said, I'm, I'm going to take some time off. I'd even like to start working in springtime. I want to take some time off. i got so much stuff to do around here. I'm way behind on my projects. And like I say, I want to get back on this Camaro. We've got projects on this to do yet. Uh, we have the solar panel project. We have the Cadillac to finish up. And we also have a wind project, a little wind turbine that I bought. We're going to take down the antenna pole and uh, there's a big antenna on there now. We're going to take it down. We're going to weld a flange on that. We're going to put a little wind wind generator on there, 400 watt. But I want to do that before it gets too cold. So, yeah, I have lots of projects to do. I mean, I want to, I got this garage to clean up. I want to get this garage cleaned up where I can shoot video in anywhere, any location in the garage and not be, you know, that shot don't look very good, you know, too cluttered up. 
you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this garage needs lots of work. But this is the... I keep this corner over here pretty clean, but everything else is pretty... Needs some help. Needs some attention. Need to get the floor cleaned up. I always wanted to put tile down on the floor. I got this corner over here tiled because I used to have a used to have a pellet stove in this corner over here years ago. And it went into my my den that I built on the back of the house. But anyway, I got like I say, I got kicked out of my job. And they was basically gonna put me in an entry level job. And I wasn't going to do it. After being there 18 and a half years, I was not going to do it. Me and another guy, we both retired. And there was three of us working at night. And uh, what's funny is uh, Friday, let's see, Thursday was our last day, us two. And then... Tim, the other guy, he uh, took off Friday and Monday, so there's going to be nobody that works evening shift that's going to be there Friday through Monday. And we got a lot done. We basically got the plant ready for the next day. And uh, talking about, you know, I I did, uh, I dumped some trash, you know, with the forklift, and I and I moved barrels and stuff around, and I I was the area lead, and uh, I'd get in the truck, and I'd, I'd go around locking doors, and uh, I'd do that kind of job, and then I had other guys that would uh, haul trash and uh, just do stuff, you know, to get ready for, we uh, just to get the plant ready for the, the next day. So, what they do when they build boats, they gotta, the, the, the area's gotta be really clean. Yeah, the area's gotta be really clean, and uh, they put down floor paper. Kind of reminds me of like milk carton paper, kind of slick and white on the bottom, kind of shiny, and, and then on the back side, it's pretty flat. But anyway, they, uh, they uh, rolled a big old roll out and lay it all on the floor, and, uh, they put them big old moles on top of it, and they, they keep everything really clean. And uh, you have to in order to keep dirt and stuff out of the moles, you know, when you're spray painting and when you're uh, putting the fiberglass and stuff like that in. But anyway, there's floor paper, you know. They, they roll up their papers, and they put them in a big old pallet, and, they, and that stuff's going to be sitting around everywhere. And Oh, it's just going to be a mess come uh, Monday morning. And yeah, they want they want to get rid of the night shift, and that they did. But I don't know. Um, I ain't going back. I don't care if they call me back. I ain't going back. I'm gonna take some time off, and I'm gonna. It'll give me a lot more time to do YouTube videos. I mean, I got to go get some Monday. I got to go get some propane. I got some propane bottles I got to go fill up. And then after that, uh, I'll be shooting videos every day. I'll be, uh, I'll be shooting videos probably Monday through Friday. And I may not, I may put, I may put in one or two videos a week, but I'll be editing I could be editing in November, December. I'm not going to be real rushed to to put them on the internet, but I am going to get one to two, one to two a week on there. And because uh, I'm going to record a bunch of videos, and uh, so I can uh, so I can kind of space them out. I mean, when it gets really cold. I don't feel like getting out here in the garage. It's a little bit warm today, but I don't feel like getting out when it's really cold. When it's 20 degrees outside, I just don't feel like getting out. So I'm going to be shooting for a bunch of videos this, this month, the rest of this October. 
and into November. I've got some I got some work to do over at my mom's house and so I gotta get that done. But anyway, the good news is I'm gonna I'm not gonna call myself a full time YouTuber, but I'm gonna go back to work eventually, but I'm turning fifty nine in a few days on the twentieth of this month. So I'm about three years too early on retiring, but I did retire from the company, so um, if I can get this YouTube channel going a little bit better, actually I'm making more than I thought I was going to already, because I, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but I got a lot of watch time. Actually, I should have monetized sooner, as soon as I hit that 1,000, because I already had over... You have to have 1,000 subscribers and 5,000 time or 4,000 watch hour minutes. 4,000 watch hours. I don't remember how much it was. 4,000 watch hours. That's average per year. And anyway, I had 1,100 when I monetized subscribers and then I had 5,000 watch hours. So I should have monetized. A month or so ago, I was leaving money on the table. I mean, I could have monetized earlier, but I wasn't in the real. I didn't. I'm not really doing this for money, but um, things have changed now, you know. So, like I say, I don't. Uh, last Thursday was my last night. Uh, three, two thirty Friday morning was my last. Last day, clocked out, put my, had a, had a badge, had a, had a coat on it, basically swiped, swiped the card, you know, and, and, uh, swiped the time clock, and then, uh, I put my, my keys right on his, right on his desk, I even took a picture of it, I may even add that in the video here. But yeah, that was that was quite the week, I tell you. It's uh, it's good to be out of there. I'll tell you that. That place is that place was such a good place to work when when I first went to work there in two thousand two. Been there eighteen and a half years. It was real family oriented. However you say that word, real family oriented. And then Malibu bought it out, and you know how corporate greed gets in there, and everything's about the bottom line. You know, if you make too much money, you know too much. Or, and I got a story I'm going to tell you after a while, after I get my, after I get my vacation package, not my vacation, well, I get my back vacation pay, and I, I think I only got three or four days, vacation days left that they're going to pay me for, and I took their uh, retirement package. So, uh, I'm going to tell you a story after I receive that money, and you'll be, wow, about what they did. And it's not good, what they do to their employees. But I'm going to tell you about that in another video. So I thought I'd come on here tonight. This is even after the Kansas City game. I mean, this is uh, four o'clock and four, four o'clock Sunday afternoon. I need to get this with show notes. I do a lot better than I don't have to edit quite so much. I can just ramble on and and uh, not have to edit so much. So now I'm gonna tell you about the Van Halen story. Um. I got to see Van Halen back in 2004, November 6, 2004. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, this is uh, this is my Van Halen ticket. This was in uh, this is in Wichita, Kansas. And uh, let's see, it's November 6, 
2004. I believe the tickets was like $75, 7550 That was back when uh, Sammy Hagar was in the group. I don't remember exactly when he joined, but uh, it was 2004, and he was in the group, Sammy Hagar. And I'm surprised I still have that ticket stub. I have a, a eagle picture in my office, a nice eagle picture. And I take the, it's framed out, and I just stick it in the corner. All my, all my ticket stubs, I stick it in the corner. And I've been doing that for decades. This is 2004. It's probably one of the earliest ones I started doing that. But on that day, we we rented a limousine back in 2004. I had a few friends. Had a few of my friends go, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We got there early. We got there at the concert a little bit early. It was like the, one of the first limousines come in. And everybody thought that it was uh, the band's limo. It was so fun. A couple of us got out, and who's in your limousine? Oh, we was just kidding. We was just having fun with it because I have a brother named Eddie. Oh, 80's in there. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and a guy, the guy was coming up to us asking for a Sharpie. And uh, and I said, we ain't got no Sharpie. You got a limousine, ain't got a Sharpie? And I go, no, I'm not famous. I don't need no Sharpie. And we kept telling him 80 was in there. It was Eddie, my brother, not Eddie, Eddie Van Halen. So that was so funny. We played that out for a while. And, Eventually, we let them know, <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that was a very good concert. Kansas Coliseum, Britt Brown Arena. I'm not sure where that's at now. No cameras or recording devices. Seat A11, row F, seat 11. A11, that would be probably pretty close to the front, yeah? So anyway, yeah, that was a lot of fun. One of, one of the friends that I went with, Steve, he's no longer with us, so that was something he got to enjoy. But uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you about that. It means we lost Eddie Van Halen this w last week. He was quite the guitar player, I tell you. Amazing. So I wanted to get on here and get a video. Benz, I didn't get no. I still got to charge the AC on the Cadillac. I still got that fender to finish up and. It's getting so late in the day that I don't have time to do any of that right now. I had to watch my Chiefs game. Of course, they lost. Uh, the Raiders really, really played hard. That quarterback said, "I like Andy Reid, but I just don't like the Chiefs." That's what the, that's what Carr was saying on the, on the Raiders quarterback number four. He was saying, "I like the." I like Andy Reid, but I just don't like the Chiefs. So he, he put a whooping on them. They just never could come back from it. But anyway, that'll be another game. So I thought I'd put out a video today. And, and like I say, I got a, I got a few things tomorrow. But I'm going to start on Monday afternoon and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I can really start putting the videos no I've got the I got the Camaro I'm gonna probably get the uh, I'm gonna probably work on the Cadillac tomorrow maybe charge the AC but I think my next video is gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting back on this Camaro I know a lot of you been wanting wanting me to get back on it uh, we're gonna do a uh, a 
got my stuff over there on that chair over there. It's going to be a intake manifold cover is what I was talking about. We're, we're going to basically build a form out of cardboard and tape all the seams and, and if we have to do a little bit of um, put some bondo on it, you know, to, to put our shape. It don't have to be, it don't have to be perfect because we're just making a mold. I mean, we're going to have it come down over the top of it, and it's going to have little edges around it, you know. And then how I'm going to do my hoses, I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to notch them out for it. And the hose as it goes over the top of the manifold. The intake manifold. Um, imagine I'm going to have it underneath it, so it'll look a lot cleaner. But I think we're going to do that video next. Maybe it'll hit the. Maybe I can upload that next week, next Sunday. That would be just uh, making the mold of it. Um, we'll we'll tape it and bondo it or whatever we need to do, and then. And then we'll take that piece off the intake manifold and then we'll put it on a table and then we'll start laying our fiberglass over it. I've got, I think, one or two sheets of uh, fiberglass we're going to put on it and then we're going to lay a layer of uh, carbon fiber on it. And i got to get that thing cut out. i got to pre-cut it where it lays over and uh, fits real nice on there. So I'll have to see how that's going to work. And then we'll get that all put together. We'll do the fiberglass on the part two of it. So it's probably going to be a two-part series on that one. But I can't wait to get that one done. So I'm going to start working on that next week. Actually, this week. This is Sunday. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have, going to have plenty of time now. No regrets on my job. I mean, if they want to, if they want to play that way, then that place is getting to where it's uh, it's getting a bad name for itself. Yeah, there's a lot of other people that's talking. You know, I ain't gonna be here much longer. You know, and even Tim, the other guy that works with us, like I say, two of us retired and he's turning 62 in January I believe and he's just mainly needing insurance he's got a pacemaker so he definitely got to have the insurance so and I gave my phone number yesterday to to get some health insurance and uh, so I think he's going to be out there within the next couple of weeks I imagine once he hits day shift uh, on Tuesday that he's not going to like it at all they're talking about doing all these piddly jobs, you know, and nothing really, nothing really hard, you know, painting walls, painting stripes on the floor, or these little piddly jobs, and, uh, and then come four o'clock, boy, I just wave the, wave the green flags, and boy, then you got to go to work, cause you got so much stuff to do when they shut down the plant, and we was getting it ready for the next day, and. Uh, there's no way all that stuff takes so long to do but because you're getting in, inside the plant and, and working your way all the way through the plant and then all the way outside the plant and then way back in there to deliver it and come back another round it takes so long to get all that stuff done so anyway i'm gonna i think i've got everything covered here but like I say, I'm I'm excited to be out of there. Um, I want to get some more videos put up. Like I say, I got all kind of all kind of stuff to do. I mean, I know a lot of you don't like the I know a lot of you don't like the the Cadillac channel or the Cadillac channel. That's funny right there. I know a lot of you don't like the Cadillac or Cadillac project. I don't know I've even seen it in the comments, and uh, but I'm gonna still 
continue to put those up because my second top video is how to remove the center console in the Cadillac. Why is that one so popular? Because there's nothing there. When I got ready to move the center console, I looked on YouTube to try to figure out how to pull it out. There was nothing there. So I said, wow, that's a good opportunity to put something there. And that, that video will get lots of hits. Lots of watch time. That's my second top video in all my... My very top one is my before and after on my mods. But, yeah, I've got the... And then I have the, uh, the the solar panels and the wind power. I'm, I don't know how well them videos are going to do. Like I say, we got... I have already installed the panels that that I showed earlier in the video when I was unpacking them. Those have been installed for a month now back here on the back of the house. And I didn't show no how-to. I showed very little. I shot very little video on that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a part two. Well, not a part two. It's going to be a part one because I never did do the part one. I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to double up the system. I'm going to put in another charge controller right beside the other one. I'm going to run another set of wires. And the rack that I built, it was, uh, and two by fours running this way, kind of cut across in the middle. And all my, I got five solar panels up towards the top. I have nothing down below here. So we're going to show the install installation on the other five down here. So we're going to do, we're going to do that. We're going to step by step on how that goes. So that's going to be the video I'm going to be doing here pretty quick too. I'm at least going to get it shot, but I may not have it uploaded. It may be another couple weeks or so before I get that one put up. But yeah, I got putting in another charge controller, putting in another wire, putting in basically doubling up. Um, the solar panels do a great job in the when it's sun shining. Okay, on cloudy days, it just really it it really don't want to charge up the batteries. I have six batteries over there. I haven't showed any of that stuff yet. It's all hooked up. But on a cloudy day, I have a hard time getting that thing back up to 100%. And uh, so I need to I need to double up what I have. So you take your the power you need. You basically need to what to figure out whatever power you need. I'm just trying to basically power up one room right now I'm just doing a well I probably I'll just go into this whenever I get onto that I really don't want to give out too much really don't need to give out all that information I just, I just need to wait till I get on that video and we'll do that then but basically what I'm going to do I'm going to double up what I already have that way on a cloudy day I'll be able to recover quicker on on the power that I need anyway I hope that makes sense because that way on a sunny day I can really be making the power but on a cloudy day it just don't like uh, I might charge up to 85 percent and not quite make a hundred percent by the time it gets dark and it needs to be 100% before it gets dark. Anyway, I rambled on long enough. I just want to thank all my subscribers. Um, I thank each and every one of you that support this channel. Like I say, I need your support now more than ever. I mean, I'm not going to try to survive off of my YouTube money. I mean, it's, it's so minimal that it wouldn't even... It would hardly even pay one bill. And I don't have a whole lot of bills, but yeah, it's it's a long way from even coming close to living off of it. 
But you know, if I if I grow this channel, the more watch time hours that I get, the the more I can make on it. But like I say, I, I never did start this channel to make money on it. But now that I am, but um, I would like to invest the money that I do get off of it to to more mods, you know, that I can put on the car. I still have an exhaust system I'd like to put on this car. I haven't done the exhaust on it yet. And I don't know exactly when I'm going to get to that. That's fairly expensive. Might as well figure $1,500 on that. And I sure ain't going to spend no $1,500 on an exhaust without no job. But well, I better I better end it here and get the, get this thing to edit and so I can get this thing uploaded here shortly. Try to get it uploaded by 9 o'clock. So... Like I say, I'm, it's a little warm in here. I'm starting to sweat. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And thanks for watching.